Prevalent Instruments Part 8 Welcome to the lecture series on Carnatic music. In this session, we shall discuss about another two percussion instruments of South Indian music, the ghatam and ganjira. The following topics are discussed in this session. Ghatam Introduction Uniqueness of ghatam Construction Tuning mode of playing and renowned ghatam players kanjira introduction construction tuning mode of playing and renowned kanjira players introduction ghatam a large clay pot with a narrow mouth is one of the most ancient time-keeping instruments of South India. Earthen pots in different sizes and shapes have been used since ancient times as accompaniment for folk and religious music all over the world. When the mouth is covered with a parchment, it becomes a pot drum. It is found mentioned in the Ramayana. Bharata's Nati Shastra mentions of pot drums. Varieties like Dardur is spherically shaped with its mouth covered with hide. The hide was kept in place by means of a jute string. Bharata also mentions an ensemble of pot drums. The traditional pot instrument used widely for folk music is known by diverse names in different parts of India. The nut is a traditional pot instrument used in Rajasthan folk music. The traditional pot instrument used on Kashmiri folk music is known by the names matki or tumbaknari. The Kudamura is basically used in Kerala for Teyam dance. The Ghatta Shingari is a peculiar folk instrument with the pot's face covered by a skin parchment producing comical effect. In Gujarat, a folk theatre, Akhyan, a narrative form of storytelling, is accompanied by Maan. A spherical metal pot. In Tamil Nadu, a traditional art called Villipattu, story told by a bow used as a resonator, employs kudam, which is a pot instrument struck with a piece of wood. The Tanti Pane, also of Tamil Nadu, is a pot connected with a string used as a drone keeping instrument. The pot is also used in other parts of the world as a percussion instrument. Udu is a Nigerian pot drum with two holes, one on the top and one on the side and gives a bass effect. It is used in religious ceremonies. In Morocco, Tiny clay pot drums tied together with gut string are called bongos and are used throughout the Maghreb region. A pot used as a drum was quite common in China in ancient times. In South India, the ghatam occupies a place of honour as an important upatalavadhya in classical music concerts. Uniqueness of Ghatam Ghatam is unique in the whole array of musical instruments as all the five elements of nature, earth, 
और नीलम वाटर और नीर एयर और काट्र फायर और निरप एंड स्पेस और आघायम आर फाउंड इन इट द बेसिक मटीरियल फॉर घटम इज मड दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स द होली अर्थ मड इज मिक्सड विथ वॉटर अनादर एलिमेंट ऑफ नेचर इट इज देन बेक्ड इन फायर एडिंग द थर्ड एलिमेंट द एयर इन साइड द बेली ऑफ द घटम एंड कंपास स्पेस और आगायम दैट रिवर ब्रेड्स creating the musical sound ghatam das represents all the five elements of nature construction like the bamboo flute it is an instrument made of a single homogeneous material and has no detachable parts the mouth of the ghatam is open and is somewhat narrow compared to the mud pots used for domestic purposes the clay used for making the ghatam is mixed with iron or brass filings and are carefully kneaded and uniformly baked strong durable and resonant ghatams are made in madras and mana madurai in south india the mana madurai ghatam has a harder surface and calls for more effort from the artist its tone is very metallic and pure because of the use of brass filings that are mixed with the clay the madras ghatam on the other hand uses a far simpler manufacturing technique and the tone is huskier complicated solle or rhythmic patterns can be executed with much less strain in this variety and hence is preferred a lot these days the madras ghatam is also brittle and can break if extra pressure is applied tuning the ghatam is a non tunable instrument its pitch is determined during its make itself professional performers have number of ghatams of varying pitches when engaged to perform they carry to the concert hall the particular ghatam whose pitch agrees with the pitch of the performer or its panchama mode of playing the ghatam player sits on the ground with his shirt open with the mouth of the pot held close to the stomach the mouth of the pot is sometimes pressed against the stomach it is played with the two hands wrists 10 fingers and the nails finger strokes are given at the neck center and bottom of the outer surface sometimes the pot is held in horizontal posture the mouth facing the audience the instrument towards the close of a rhythmic solo is thrown up in the air and caught successively in consonance with rhythm this happens usually at the end of the taniya vartana when a special korvai is played these korvais are usually conceived with sufficient gaps in their structure these gaps or korvais are long enough for the ghatam to be thrown up and caught back in the interval in fact this is the only concert instruments wherein the holding posture is changed during the course of the play the primary resonating sound of the instrument is caused by striking on the pot apart from this a very low resonance is also produced by the cavity this pitch is raised or lowered by opening or closing the hole with the stomach 
The use of the belly when playing adds a bass sound to the tone and accentuates the beauty of the rhythm. A similar gumuki type effect is also produced by the present day artist by striking the mouth of the gutta. This practice is not followed by all as it is looked down upon by more conservative Puritans. A very high degree of speed is possible on this instrument as an upatalavadya or secondary rhythmic accompaniment the ghatam performer takes his place by the side of the ganjira renowned ghatam players the following are some of the renowned ghatam players tattakudi harihara subhash chandran umayalapuram k narayana swami trichi shankaran V. Selva Ganesh, E. M. Subramanyam, Ghatam Uduppa, Tetukudi Harihara Vinayakram, Payani Krishnayar, and Pudukkotai Dakshinamurti. Let us now discuss about the Ganjira. Introduction The Ganjira is the most ancient percussion instruments in India. It is used all over India as an accompaniment to folk and devotional music. It is often seen with the mendicants. In South India, the Kanjira has attained the status of an upapakavadya in classical Carnatic concerts. This one-sided drum has been in existence in India since ancient times. It was named Kaiparai or Siruparai by the ancient Tamils. It is known as Duff in North India. Construction The Kanjira has a circular wooden frame of 8 to 9 inches in diameter and 3 to 4 inches in depth. Usually, jackwood is used for the frame. Over this frame is strained or pulled tightly a thin skin of Varanus, a reptile of the lizard family, on one side and glued to the wall of the frame, while the other side is left open. In the frame, there are three to four slits into which are fixed small metal discs which jingle when the instrument is played. In addition, Small clusters of ankle bells are suspended from hooks fixed on the frame. Tuning The varanous skin is liable to expand and shrink with the change in climate. Thus, in hot climate, the skin expands and during winter, it shrinks. Hence, during winter, the instrument is held carefully over a flame, about one inch above the flame, in order to lighten the skin. When taught, the drum is very highly tuned, but in performance, it needs to be very bass or heavy. This effect is achieved by lightly spreading water on the inside of the head before and during a stone. The ganjira is by nature not a tunable instrument. However, a performer tries to match the pitch of the performance by manipulating the fingers of the left hand and also by periodically applying water to the inner surface of the instrument. It is very difficult to maintain the desired pitch for a prolonged period of time. So, a good kanjira player will have three, sometimes four kanjira on stage with him at once. One alternative to this is the new tunable kanjira. Mode of playing. The kanjira is held in the left hand and played with the palm 
and fingers of the right hand. Though it is said to be an instrument played with only one hand, the other hand, that is the left hand, also plays an equally important role of not only supporting the drum but also in bending the pitch with the fingers. If we look at the drum as if it were a clock face, we can see that the left hand is supporting the drum at the 6 o'clock position, the hands being cupped with the thumb behind and the fingers in front on the skin side, forming a clamp-like grip. The thumb of the left hand comes along the edge of the frame in line with its circumference and parallel to the flow. It is by pressing the fingertips to the skin that the bending of the note is achieved. All the fingers of the right hand are used to pronounce the syllables unlike the mridangam where the thumb of the right hand is not used to pronounce any syllable. The strokes on kanjira are often represented by phonetic language different from that of the mridangam. It is therefore up to the kanjira's player's knowledge to interpret the phrases of the mridangam and apply suitable phrases for the kanjira. An expert exponent is able to produce with a single hand all the patterns and variations that is possible in a mridangam. Renowned Kanjira Players G. Harishankar is widely considered to have been the greatest Kanjira artist ever to have played this instrument. Past Exponents Pudukkotai, Manmundiya Pillai, Dakshinamurti Pillai, H. P. Ramachar, Mayavaram Somasundaram, C. K. Shyamsundar, Tirukkadayur T. K. Dakshinamurti and V. Nagaraj. Present Exponents Bangalore Amrit, B. Shri Sundar Kumar, V. Selva Ganesh, C. P. Vyasa Vithala, B. S. Purushottaman, G. Guru Prasanna, N. Ganesh Kumar, K. V. Gopalakrishna, Anirudh Atreya, K. S. Rangachari, K. V. R. S. Mani, C. S. Venkat Ramanan, Abhishek Raghuram, Alatur T. Rajaganesh, Guru Raghavendra, Latha Ramachar, Nerkunam S. Shankar, Naiveli B. Venkatesh, Papanasam S. Seturaman, Tenkasi H. Paramashivam, Tiruvayur Sai Krishnan, Trikkakara Y. N. Shantaram, Tirupur G. Sridhar Kumar, Trichi V. V. S. Maniyan, Vivek Chalapa, Rajiv Nagraj, Vinay Malikarjun, and Vivek Rajagopalan. In this session, we have discussed about two important percussion instruments of Carnatic concerts. In the next session, we shall discuss about another instrument. Thank you.
Mm-hmm.